the action of lifting your arm forwards and up towards your head. Here we can see it overlaid with the goniometer, showing a normal flexion range of around 150 degrees, although anything up to 180 degrees is considered normal. In the anterior upper arm, the coracobrachialis originates from the coracoid process of the scapula and inserts into the medial surface of the humeral shaft. The biceps brachii has both a short and a long head, hence the name biceps, meaning two heads. On the medial side is the short head, which originates from the coracoid process of the scapula. On the lateral side is the long head, which originates from the supraglenoid tubercle of the scapula. They join together to form one muscle belly in the upper arm and insert into the radial tuberosity. The biceps is able to act on both the shoulder and the elbow joints. In addition to shoulder flexion, it also helps to stabilize the head of the humerus in the glenoid cavity. The deltoid muscle is made up of three parts, anterior, lateral, and posterior. The anterior part originates from the lateral third of the clavicle, the lateral part originates from the acromion of the scapula, and the posterior part originates from the spine of the scapula. They join together to insert into the deltoid tuberosity on the humerus. Only the anterior deltoid is involved in shoulder flexion.